Don't ask questions. Grab that, hit it. That's the sound. Slam that. What's up, people? It's your boy Andrew FAQ here with you with another video. Today, I'm going to be discussing how to make any woman obsess over you. Let's go! Tip number one you have to have a higher SMV than her. And listen, I'm gonna break down what I mean by this. She has to see you as being better than her. Women are always chasing the higher man. They're always chasing the better person. And if you are, if a woman is interested in you because of your looks, your looks has to be, she has to see your looks better than hers. If she's interested in on your status, she's gotta see you as a more status than her. If you have more income than her, she looks to you for income. You have to be better than her in all these aspects. It has to be one aspect that she sees you better than her. That's how she's going to be obsessed over you. Women are always chasing men that are better than them. And listen, I'm going to break it down even more because a lot of guys don't understand this because women, when they date a man, they want to look at the man and be like, wow, I have struck gold. I've got the best man that I can get in my social group. So, if it's fitness, she got to see you as the hottest guy. No other guy is this. She's got to be like, wow, my man's got the biggest muscles. She's got to be looking at you like she's looking at, that she's seen Jesus. And I know it sounds crazy. She's going to be like, oh my God, look at this guy. She's got to see you as this action hero that's come to her life to save her, that like pick her up for all that hard, hard life and pick her up. She's going to be there thinking, wow, thank you. She will be thanking God every day that she's with you. Trust me. If she sees you as better than her, if she don't see you as better than her, trust me, she's going to keep making um, frauds against you. Uh, oh, why don't you do this? Why don't you go and prove yourself here? Oh, go get a better job. Because she don't see you as better than her. And that's when your relationship is in, is in tatters. If she starts to see you, um, you as less valuable than her, your relationship is not going to last long. She's got to be looking at you like, wow, I've got the best option that I can get. She's got to be seeking your validation, not the other way around. If you're seeking her, women don't want you like um, chasing them like that. that. Cause a lot of guys are chasing women in the DMs and, and on the streets. So she wants her man to be like, I am better. So she's gonna be like, wow, I've got all these simps chasing me, but my man, he's the man. I'm happy that I've got him, I'm chasing him. She wants to be chasing you on a daily basis. Trust me, giving you compliments on how you look giving you compliments how your physique looks, saying, babe, you're doing well, just enjoying being around you. That's when you know that she is going to be obsessed over you. Tip number two, you have to pass the test. If she's hot and you're seeing her as an eight, nine, or even a 10, she's gonna be doing things to test you because she's thinking, you know what, I'm hot. I know that he sees I'm hot. But if you, if you allow her to test you and you don't pull her up on her games and put your foot down, Listen, she's gonna walk all over you. You gonna be like, I know you're hot, but I will replace you, girl. If you carry on like this, I will walk away from you. Don't get too comfortable and thinking, cause I'm sexy, I can get another guy like you. Listen, women's gonna always gonna test a guy. Listen, women test men all the time. Even when they get comfortable, they get they wanna test you to see if you're still that man that she fell in love with. If she starts to play games, tell her, listen, you're playing games. I can't deal with it no more there's the door, you know what I mean? We're not, we're not gonna kind of continue this because she's gonna continue to try and test you because she thinks that she is better um, out of the relationship. She feels like she's better than you. But if you are stoic, you come, you come in there and you know how to handle those situations. Like you've seen pretty girls, listen, there's many pretty girls, man, but there's not many guys that are willing to take her places, show her the lifestyle, give her um, quarter, not many guys are willing to do that, and she knows this. Then if you know that, she's gonna be like, okay, you know what, even though I've got all these guys chasing me, there's not many guys that are gonna give me the time, the loving and caring, and even a guy that is valuable enough that I can respect. Once you have all that traits, she's going to no longer keep testing you and playing games with you because she's scared to lose you. Women have many options, and you have to show her that you're her best option. And the thing is, don't be doing too much to show her. Just by having, just being stoic, showing her your lifestyle, she's gonna know that she has the best option. She's gonna be like, wow, I don't wanna be playing games with this guy. I don't wanna be playing games because he can walk away and get another girl like me in seconds. So I wanna make sure that I'm his main girl 
that he is taking his time to show love. Because mostly these women are getting guys flowing, flying them out. They're getting guys throwing them money. But guess what? They don't respect those guys. Those guys are simps. They're giving every girl that, that lifestyle. But if you're that guy that only select, you're really selective, and you picked her out of a bunch of all these other girls and giving her the lifestyle, guess what? She's gonna now appreciate your time. She's gonna be like, this guy passed the test. I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess, mess these things up. I want him to be my man. And she's gonna make sure that she is in that, in that um, frame to always be in the best behavior for you. Tip number three. Listen guys, you have to be respected by other men. Listen, we're in a concrete jungle and every man out here are going to try and take what belongs to you. They're going to try and test you. And if a man sees you as a physically bigger man, they're not going to test you. Listen, I've gone places, yeah, by my own, and I've seen a group of dudes. Listen, I walk straight through them, and they're all shaking their head, giving me that respect. Guess why? Because it's the mindset. Is it? It's the mindset. They, know, they, they can look at man and be like, this guy, it's something about him that says he don't give no games. Look, you, you don't have to fight. Learn how to defend yourself. Because in the streets out here, or in any place, a guy is going to try to test you for what is yours. They are going to try to take what's yours. And if they can see that you're a physically bigger person, even like, look at your body and be like, listen, I don't want to test this guy. Like, look at me. You think a guy is going to be like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to try to test this guy. They're going to look at me and think, you know what? Even though I don't know if he can fight, it's the fact that his physical appearance is all, is already showing to me that if I try to test him, I could get my lights knocked out. That's already a respectable level. They might not like you, but they respect you. Listen, guy, haters are always gonna be around. You might not like me, but you damn sure gonna respect me. You see it? Because they know already, if a guy is got that instinct, like I'm not here to play games, I'm not here to cause any trouble, but if you're if you try to test me, someone's gonna get laid out tonight. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta have that mindset, learn how to fight, learn how to defend yourself, build your body up, build your biceps up. Build your body so when they see you, you're like, oh wow, this guy, he is physically, mentally strong because he goes to the gym. He's putting all that effort in the gym. He's working out, putting that, banging them iron, putting that, uh, putting the work. So now when they see you, they're gonna think, he's not a wussy, he's not a, he's not a wimp. I'm not gonna try and test him because he obviously has some sort of like uh, mental and physical strength over me. And this is gonna give you that respect. I've gone places, listen, I travel alone all the time. Men, groups of men respect me listen i've been places and guys will be like yo where are you from and they want to invite me to their group just because of the way i look guys respect the, the guys respect a guy that is physically big physically big has knows no, and knows how to carry himself they're gonna invite you to their circle so you need to learn how to fight do some sort of combat sport mixed martial art boxing learn how to defend yourself because men out here will test you if they can feel that they are they're stronger than you I've seen it happen all the time. I've been out and I've seen guys get tested because guys are looking at them thinking, hmm, I don't think I'm, there's any threat to me and then go and pick on that guy. Listen, don't get bullied by these guys or anybody. Defend yourselves. I'm not saying go out there and start trouble and thinking you're untouchable. No, don't do that. Just know that, carry yourself to the to a way that you know, if you test me, just know that I am willing to dabble for what I believe in. Is it? Don't make anyone try to, make, uh, to chief you up. Do not allow no man to chief you up and make you feel small, belittle you. No, just defend what, what belongs to you, and trust me, they'll respect that. They might not like you, but guess what? They'll respect you. Tip number four. Guys, you have to learn to put the pipe down on these girls. Listen, women love a good If you can hit that spot, I guarantee you, she will be coming back for that fix. Women want that fix, trust me. If you're good in bed and you know how to throw the pipe down and you can last more than two minutes, trust me, she will be knocking at that door real soon. But some guys out here are one minute, they're getting in there, they're breathing heavy and that <gasps> all over the girl, the girl's thinking this guy is not the one. Trust me, you got to be some action hero. you got to be getting in there, knees deep bro, hitting that spot until she busts. <laughs> You gotta be in that spot until she can explode. And trust me, she's gonna fall in love with you real quick. Trust me. Cause she's thinking, wow, this guy can fix me. He can make me feel whole again. And that's what your job is there. Make her feel whole again, bro. Get in there. Make sure that you're hitting that spot repeatedly, guys. Listen, 
Women don't want a guy to be all like, come in there and ask the questions. Do you like it like this? Do you like it like that? Nah, don't ask questions. Grab that, hit it. That's a sound. Slam that, in and out. Making sure that she is feeling good. And listen, make sure she gets off before you get off. Some guys are selfish and they go in there, do their thing and leave the woman by herself and she ain't, she ain't let off. Make sure she gets off first. That's key. Make sure she gets on first, bro. Then you can get off. And trust me, she's gonna love you, bro. Trust me. She's gonna be coming back for more. More of that. Listen, guys. You can have, you might have nothing. You might have no job, no, no status. But if you're in good in bed, <laughs> she's gonna be coming back to you. She might, you might not, you might not keep, she might not take you seriously, but trust me, she'll be coming back for that fix. So getting better in bed is going to help you get her obsessed with you. I've seen girls, yeah, go on dates, yeah, go on dates with guys that are, let's say, high value. Leave that guy and go back to the bummish guy that knows how to throw the pipe down. It happens all the time. Sex game is key. Tip number five, guys, this is a very important tip, and it's never make her feel her spot is secured listen always keep this woman on her toes man give her the experiences treat her nice court her make her feel like a princess but let her know that if you fuck up if you mess up this situation all of this the lifestyle the extra spontaneous trips that will go instantly instantly to someone else and guess what? She's gonna be on her best behavior. She's gonna be like, I don't want this lifestyle to stop. I am enjoying this. I am enjoying the, babe, get up at um, 7 a.m. I've got someone to take you. She don't know what's going on. She's thinking, oh shit, I'm getting ready. They, women love a spontaneous man. From when, from when you can be spontaneous and just message her, I'm coming to pick you up, be ready, wear something nice. And give her the, give her the, give her the option, like, wear something nice, wear this color. She should be thinking, whoa, where is he taking me? Give her, make her lifestyle interesting. Trust me, if you can do that, she is going to be obsessed with you. She's going to be like, this guy just tickles my fancy. I'll be chilling, he'll just tell me, get ready. He's taking me somewhere nice. They love that, but don't make her get comfortable. Always listen, always reiterate to her that listen, do not get comfortable. Make sure you're doing your role. Make sure you're providing for me too. Make sure you're making me feel good. And this lifestyle will continue. But the minute you start getting comfortable and start doing all the other shit, I'm cutting all of that. All of that spontaneous thing, I will cut it like that. I'm not playing games. I'm not here to be like, oh, make a fool of. Yeah, hey. Because some guys, this is where this is where um they finish it from an alpha and a sim. A sim now will still give a woman a lifestyle even after getting respected. That's a sim. An alpha will give a woman a lifestyle conditionally. If she continues to do the right things, she gets a lifestyle. That's the, that's the difference between an alpha male and a beta male. Beta male always rewards a woman even on her bad behavior. An alpha male awards a woman on good behavior. Only award them if they are good to you. If they're bad to you, you say, you know what, because you're bad, this week we ain't going nowhere. Shit, we're going to chill at home. You ain't going to, listen, I ain't even going to pipe you. I'm gonna make you. You're going to ride it. You're going to ride it until I bust. That's it. That's all you're getting. Cause she's, cause she's, cause she's bad. You know what I mean? You gotta punish, man. You gotta punish them. If you're always awarding, listen, women are always getting awarded for bad behavior. You gotta make her get accountable for her wrong behavior, and that's when she's gonna be obsessed with you. This guy, that have you watched Fifty Shades, Fifty Shades of Grey? And the guy, the woman was like, Mister Grey. They love that whole um, submissiveness. The 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 boss that comes in and tells her what to do. They love it. The white tell you, I don't like. It. They love it, bro. Trust me. So you need to learn how to become that, so that alpha and get her to be submissive, bro. Listen, you make her bust in two, two minutes. Get it going, bro. You got this. That's it, guys. Five tips to get a woman obsessed with you. I hope you like this video. If you like it, click the subscribe button. Get this video passed around so other men can get the knowledge on how to get these women to be obsessed with you. Till next time, people. Peace.